Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Lego Hermitcraft video. Today I have another set for you guys based off the seventh season of Hermitcraft. This set would cost approximately forty to fifty dollars, making it the biggest set that I have designed for really any theme, and I am really happy with how it turned out. But before I go on to reveal this set, I would also like to mention that currently I am looking for Java skins to make into Lego figures for my Minecraft community CMF. I have a whole other video focusing on this, so if you like your Java skin or another YouTuber you watch who's not Hermitcraft related to be made into a figure, there are still a few spots open for that, so go comment on the video in the description if you'd like your skin to be mentioned. So now let's go on to revealing the set. This set is set 21273, The Diamond Throne. As you can see, this set is clearly based off the iconic diamond throne from Hermitcraft, where the mayor sits, which, as of right now, is Mayor Scar. You can see the set includes four figures in total, of which three are minifigures and then one is brick built. You can see in the upper right corner, I put a diamond block, because that's obviously the main block in this set. I thought that fit really well, and it goes well with the color scheme of the whole box art for Minecraft. Then the bottom right, you can also see Scar there, because he's the main figure included in this set, since he's the mayor. But now let's take a look at the build and the main figure. On the left, you can see, obviously, in the middle, the giant diamond throne, which towers over the two other smaller builds in the set. It's mainly made in light blue, and it's just made out of some 2x2 two two bricks, or 2x2, two two, I believe 2x6s and 2x4s it's mostly made out of. But at the very top, you can see there are a few heads, which are obviously representing the diamond heads that the actual diamond throne has on the very top. This is one of the earlier versions of the diamond throne, not the later one, which has the much higher ladder to get up to the seat, and has the extra little bit for jelly to sit on. This one is the much simpler version. I thought it looked a bit better when it got really big. It just looks kind of weird. So I thought to stick with just the simple design. It also doesn't have the area where Green hides his heads inside of it, which I really tried to include, but it just kept making me look too fat. So if you want me to do a separate set on that, I could definitely do that. And I think that would be really funny as kind of like an extension to this set. But you can also see a slightly different colored diamond. That's just so it sticks out in the bottom right. And it's meant to be on a trap door to represent beat up seat. Then next to that, and that's mirrored on both sides, you can see the board where the hermits would have to pay to get their road pass. It's the same design on both sides, and it has some extra white and blue tiles, so you can tell whether they've paid or whether they still need to pay. And then behind that, on either side, you can see are the two main walls of the mayoral hall. Then on the right there, you can see the figure, which let's take a look at in a bit more detail. You can see on the right, I have him just standing forward. In the middle, I have the design it's based off of. And on the left, I have the figure actually as a render to make it look a bit more three-dimensional. You can see Scar's accessory is a 2x2 two two orange tile with the print Vote Scar for a Good Time, which was his mayoral poster when he was running for mayor. That actually looks really cool as a print, and I would be really happy to get it if LEGO were to ever make LEGO Hermitcraft sets. Then for his torso and legs, they're both pretty simple designs, but I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. And then his head is based off his normal one, just with the spectacle on top of it, which looks really cool. Then now the other two figures in the set, we have B-Dubs and Joe. B-Dubs and Joe are just two normal figures from the CMF series. They don't have anything special about them because their skins didn't really change for this occasion specifically. But you can see I did render b -dub sitting as he's meant to be sitting on the little diamond throne he has, that miniature one. But Joe has a special exclusive accessory, which is a 2x2 two two tile in blue with a vote at Joe Hills for dog catcher. And then to go along with that, he also includes a wolf as an accessory, which since it's brick built, I thought I could count as an accessory. And I thought it was like one of the only mobs I could really get away with including in this set. There aren't really any other ones other than Mate Jelly that would go really good with this. So I thought the dog fit quite well. And I think he could also have a red color instead of a gray one to represent it being tame, so that way Joe could actually catch the dog. But either way, it really works. So now let's take a look at the features of the build. You can see the main feature of the build is that the both of the sides actually swing open to make it look a bit more open. So that way you can see you could have figures standing in between the three different sections and make it 
give them a lot more space so you can move more figures. Even if you were to get all of the hermits, you could have a lot more of them there than you could just having it closed like that. And you can see that way you have a flat wall kind of behind the throne. You can't really see behind the throne, so I thought that worked quite well. You could have it flanking both sides of it. Then in the upper right there, you can see you can have Scar and B-dubs both sitting on the throne. B-dubs doesn't really have a stud to attach him with. He'd kind of just sit on the head, but I think that works fine. And then you can also see it has the different board where you can put on either the diamond or the sheet of paper to represent whether or not the hermits have actually bought their road pass. But that's really it for the features. It's kind of pretty dull with the features because there wasn't really that much I could include in the mayoral hall. But I'm actually really happy with how the actual main build of it turned out and the few features I was able to include. So now let's take one last look at the box art. See here with everything all combined there. And now I want to add this to my list of Lego Hermit Craft sets that I've made. So here are all of the ones I've made to date. And then in the upper right corner there, you can see I'm going to add it. And there it is with filling in the $40 slot. Now there's only a few sets left for me to make, but a lot of them are the big ones. So it's going to take me a little while before I get another set out. But thank you guys very much for watching and goodbye!